In the intricate tapestry of modern warfare, where the unseen eye of surveillance often dictates strategic superiority, the Philippines has taken a resolute step toward bolstering its aerial capabilities through the acquisition of Hermes unmanned aerial vehicles from Israel's Elbit systems. This deal, valued at approximately $175 million, forms a cornerstone of the Horizon 2 phase of the revised armed forces of the Philippines' modernization program, a deliberate effort to transform the nation's military posture in an era defined by regional tensions and technological evolution. The contract, finalized between 2018 and 2019, encompasses three Hermes 900 unmanned aerial systems, comprising nine UAVs and one Hermes 450 UAS with four UAVs, including three new units and one designated for training. Accompanied by ground control systems, support equipment, and comprehensive training, the full delivery of these 13 UAVs was completed by August 2020, marking a significant milestone in the Philippine Air Force's quest for enhanced intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance capabilities. Yet, as with any ambitious endeavor, the program has faced challenges that underscore the complexities of integrating advanced technology into a developing military framework, raising questions about operational readiness, strategic impact, and the broader geopolitical implications of this acquisition. The Hermes 900, a medium-altitude, long-endurance UAV, represents the cutting edge of ISR technology, capable of sustained operations at altitudes up to 30,000 feet with an endurance exceeding 30 hours. Its multi-role versatility, encompassing maritime patrol, search and rescue, and electronic warfare, positions it as a vital asset for a nation like the Philippines, whose archipelagic geography demands robust aerial oversight across vast maritime domains. The Hermes 450, while smaller, complements its larger counterpart with proven reliability in ISR missions, offering tactical flexibility for shorter range operations. Stationed under the 303rd Aerial Reconnaissance Group of the PAF's 300th Air Intelligence and Security Wing, these UAVs are deployed from strategically sensitive bases, though their precise locations remain closely guarded. By mid-2021, the PAF achieved full operationalization of one Hermes 900 UAS and one Hermes 450 UAS, with partial operationalization of the remaining Hermes 900 systems by the second quarter of that year. This phased integration reflects a cautious yet deliberate approach to mastering a sophisticated platform, one that requires not only technical proficiency, but also a doctrinal shift within a military historically reliant on manned assets. The strategic rationale for the Hermes acquisition is inseparable from the Philippines' geopolitical context. The West Philippine Sea, a contested expanse where China's expansive claims clash with Manila's sovereign rights, demands persistent surveillance to monitor incursions and assert territorial integrity. The Hermes UAVs, equipped with advanced electro-optical and infrared sensors, provide the PF with an unprecedented ability to maintain real-time situational awareness over disputed waters. Beyond maritime disputes, these platforms support counter-terrorism operations in the southern Philippines, where insurgent groups like the Abu Sayyaf have long exploited the region's rugged terrain. The UAV's capacity for persistent monitoring offers a force multiplier, enabling the AFP to track high-value targets with precision while minimizing risk to personnel. Yet, the promise of technological superiority is tempered by the realities of operationalizing such systems in a resource-constrained environment, where maintenance, training, and logistical support pose ongoing challenges. 
A sobering reminder of these challenges came on May 28, 2022, when a Hermes 900 crash-landed near Lumbia Airport in Cagayan de Oro during a routine functional check flight. The incident, attributed to a loss of communication, prompted the PAF to suspend operations of its remaining eight Hermes 900s pending a thorough investigation. No casualties or property damage were reported, but the event cast a shadow over the program's reliability and raised questions about the PAF's readiness to manage complex unmanned systems. Elbit Systems, as the supplier, is expected to collaborate on the investigation, though the cause remains under scrutiny as of mid-2024. This incident underscores a broader truth. Advanced technology, while transformative, demands a robust ecosystem of technical expertise and operational discipline to realize its full potential. For a military transitioning from legacy systems to cutting-edge platforms, such setbacks are not merely technical, but also political, as they invite scrutiny from a public and leadership eager for tangible returns on significant defense investments. In 2023, the PAF sought to enhance the Hermes 900's capabilities through a 1.1 billion Philippines peso, or $19.6 million electronic warfare system project, aimed at integrating systems like Elbit's Skyfix and Skyjam for signal intelligence and communication jamming. Such enhancements would elevate the UAV's role in electronic warfare, enabling the PAF to disrupt adversary communications and gather critical intelligence in contested environments. However, the project's notice of award was cancelled, leaving its status uncertain as of July 2024. This setback reflects the fiscal and bureaucratic hurdles that often accompany ambitious modernization efforts particularly in a nation where defense budgets compete with pressing domestic priorities. The cancellation also highlights the delicate balance between aspiration and execution, as the PAF navigates the integration of advanced systems within a constrained operational framework. The Hermes program's broader implications extend beyond the Philippines' borders. The acquisition aligns with Manila's deepening defense ties with Israel, a relationship rooted in shared strategic interests and Israel's reputation as a reliable supplier of advanced military technology. This partnership, however, is not without its complexities, as it situates the Philippines within a web of geopolitical alignments that could influence its relations with other powers, including the United States and China. The Hermes UAVs, while enhancing national security, also signal Manila's intent to assert a more autonomous and capable presence in the Indo-Pacific, a region where unmanned systems are increasingly shaping the balance of power. Yet, the program's success hinges on overcoming the technical and operational challenges that have surfaced, from the 2022 crash to the stalled EWS project. As of August 2025, the PAF continues to refine its operational doctrines and training protocols to maximize the Hermes fleet's potential. The UAVs have already proven their worth in maritime surveillance and counterterrorism, but their full integration into the AFP's strategic framework remains a work in progress. The path forward demands sustained investment in personnel training, maintenance infrastructure, and perhaps most critically, a clear vision for how unmanned systems fit into the Philippines' broader defense strategy. For a nation at the crossroads of regional power dynamics, the Hermes UAVs represent more than a technological leap. They embody a commitment to sovereignty, resilience, and adaptability in an uncertain world. As the PAF navigates the challenges and opportunities of this program, its success will be measured not only in operational metrics, but in the strategic confidence it instills in a nation striving to secure its place on the global stage.